Have you ever experienced the pain of someone you care deeply about not paying attention to you? It feels like they don't care about your feelings and treat you as if you don't matter. Despite your love and care for them, they never seem to consider your needs. But what if there was a way to change this, to make them value you and put you first? In this text, we will explore 10 essential principles of Stoicism that can transform your approach to life and relationships, making you a more attractive and respected individual. We encourage you to watch till the end and understand why each principle is vital for improving your relationships and life. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. The Principles of Stoicism 1. Keep some things to yourself. One of the core tenets of Stoicism is to maintain a sense of mystery about yourself. By not revealing everything about your life, you create an air of intrigue that draws people in. Seneca wisely said, to be everywhere is to be nowhere. This means that while you should be present in your interactions, you should also keep parts of your life private. Share your experiences gradually, allowing others to become curious and eager to learn more about you. Think of your life as a book with hidden chapters, revealing them slowly and thoughtfully. This method not only makes you more intriguing but also empowers you, as the unknown aspect of your personality can make you seem more compelling and desirable. Consider Cleopatra, the famous historical figure. Her allure was not just in her beauty and power, but also in her mystery. She kept her thoughts and reasons hidden, making people very curious about her. By being surprising and taking different paths, you can draw people in, making them want to understand you better. Don't reveal everything about yourself right away. Let others explore and be part of your journey. In simple terms, think of your life like a book with many chapters, each showing a bit more about the fascinating person you are. By keeping some things mysterious, you become more attractive and others will want to know more about you. Two, make people afraid of losing you. People often value what they cannot easily obtain. To be seen as irreplaceable, you need to cultivate independence and a fulfilling life that stands on its own without depending entirely on others. By showing that your life is interesting and valuable on its own, you make others want to be a part of it. This principle aligns with the Stoic idea that while we cannot control external events, we can control our thoughts and actions. Demonstrating your independence and self-sufficiency will make you more attractive and valued. A historical example of this is the partnership between Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak in the early days of Apple. Wozniak's irreplaceable technical skills made him invaluable to Jobs and the company, highlighting the importance of being unique and indispensable. Jobs saw how special Wozniak's talents were and how important he was to their project. Jobs didn't just work with Wozniak, he also helped and highlighted Wozniak's work. Wozniak was not just a partner, he was vital to Apple's success. This shows how crucial it is to be someone who cannot be easily replaced in any group or relationship. 3. Make your own happiness. Stoicism teaches that true happiness comes from within. This principle encourages you to find joy and fulfillment independently of others. When you are confident and content on your own, you naturally become more attractive. People are drawn to those who are positive and self-assured. Theodore Roosevelt, for instance, found strength and happiness within himself despite personal tragedies, demonstrating that inner happiness is crucial for resilience and attractiveness. By making your own happiness, you shine with positivity and confidence, which naturally draws others to you. Seneca once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This means you can make yourself happy without relying on external factors. Roosevelt, who faced significant personal losses, knew how to make himself happy. He engaged in activities like boxing and helping others, finding joy from within. His happiness and energy came from inside, not from others' opinions. This inner strength made him a popular and impressive leader. By finding joy within yourself, you become like a shining light that inspires others, making you more attractive. 4. Make yourself valuable and let others invest in you. 
Understanding your worth is crucial. You are like a precious gem, valuable and rare. When others invest time, effort and emotion into their relationship with you, they value you more. This principle underscores the importance of being an intentional part of someone's life, rather than seeking attention or approval. Aristotle's relationship with Alexander the Great illustrates this well. Aristotle's wisdom and knowledge were highly valued by Alexander, who invested significant effort in learning from him. By being valuable and allowing others to invest in you, you become a cherished and respected individual. Seneca said, To make a precious stone shine, you have to rub it. To make a person better, they need to face difficulties. This highlights that your worth isn't just about existing, but about being wanted and working to improve. Consider the relationship between Alexander the Great and his teacher Aristotle. Aristotle wasn't just any teacher. He was a beacon of wisdom and critical thinking. Alexander, known for his ambition and intelligence, recognized the immense value in Aristotle's teachings. He invested considerable time and effort in learning from him, not merely as a student, but as someone who deeply valued Aristotle's insights. Aristotle didn't make learning easy. He made it a challenging journey, which made his teachings all the more valuable to Alexander. 5. Don't make someone the most important thing in your life. Stoicism advocates for independence and self-reliance. Your life should not revolve around one person. Instead, think of yourself as a bright star with your own light and energy. By pursuing your own dreams and maintaining your individuality, you keep the relationship dynamic and exciting. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of inner peace and harmony with oneself. Similarly, Isaac Newton balanced his scientific achievements with a rich personal life, maintaining his independence and identity. By not making someone else the center of your world, you preserve your attractiveness and personal growth. Think of yourself as a bright star in the sky, shining with your own light and energy, with your path separate from others. Don't let everything in your life revolve around one person. You have your own dreams, goals, and identity. This makes you more interesting and keeps them curious about your life, making them more excited to be part of it. Your independence and sense of adventure make the relationship more interesting. It's about making each other's lives better while staying true to yourself. When you don't put someone else at the center of your world, you become even more attractive. Mark Aurelius, a wise ruler and philosopher, once said, if you are at peace with yourself, you are in harmony with the world. This idea connects with staying independent in relationships. Consider Sir Isaac Newton, a brilliant scientist who revolutionized our understanding of the universe. Despite his demanding work, he maintained a rich personal life with hobbies, friends, and interests. He balanced his work success with a strong personal identity, making him not just a great scientist, but a well-rounded person. People admired him for both his intelligence and independence. This balance of independence and dedication is a powerful example of leading a satisfying and balanced life. 6. Make sure your needs come first. In any relationship, it is essential to prioritize your own needs and well-being. You should never settle for being undervalued or mistreated. Stoicism teaches that self-respect and self-care are paramount. Marcus Aurelius's wisdom reminds us that our thoughts, rather than external events, shape our experiences. Lucius Quinctius Cincinnatus, a Roman leader, exemplified this principle by adhering to his values and maintaining self-respect even when pressured to act otherwise. By prioritizing your needs, you ensure that you are treated with the respect you deserve, making you more attractive and influential. Understand your worth and avoid situations where you're not valued or treated well. Your happiness and self-esteem should never be compromised, especially not for someone who doesn't treat you right. When you prioritize your happiness, you show that you won't let anyone make you feel small or unimportant. You aim for respectful relationships based on mutual respect and self-worth. Marcus Aurelius once said, what really bothers people are not the things that happen, but how they think about them. 
This quote emphasizes the importance of perspective and self-respect in relationships. Consider Lucius Quinctius Cincinnatus, a Roman leader known for his integrity and self-respect. Even when he was urged to pursue power, he chose to return to his simple farm life when his leadership was no longer needed. He stayed true to his values and avoided those who didn't respect his principles. His story underscores the importance of putting your own needs and values first. By doing so, you maintain self-respect and become more influential in any relationship. 7. Don't always be ready and waiting. Your time and attention are valuable. By not always being readily available, you show others that your life is full and interesting. This creates a sense of intrigue and makes them appreciate the time they spend with you more. Seneca's advice to not let fear dominate your actions applies here, encouraging you to value your own time and interests. Ada Lovelace, an early computer programmer, balanced her groundbreaking work with a rich personal life, showing that not always being available can enhance your allure. By maintaining your own interests and not always being ready to drop everything, you become more intriguing and valued. Imagine a life where you're not always waiting around. Your entire life doesn't focus on meeting others' expectations or desires. You have your own life to live and explore, and the people who get to be part of it should feel fortunate. It's important to balance and not always be ready to drop everything for others. Show that your time and attention are valuable. People are attracted to those with their own interests and plans. When you're not always available, it makes them curious about what you're up to and creates a sense of wanting to be with you. Seneca said, We often suffer more in imagination than in reality. This means valuing your own time and thoughts rather than being afraid of missing out or always being available. Consider Ada Lovelace, a brilliant mathematician and writer, famous for being one of the first computer programmers. Despite societal expectations that women should always be available to others, Ada focused on her work, diving into complex math and collaborating with Charles Babbage. Her dedication to her projects and decision not to always be available made her more interesting and attractive. Ada's story shows that it's powerful to be your own person and how it can draw people to you. She didn't wait around for others. She made her own path and fascinated those around her with her intense passion and intelligence. 8. Don't always be the one to start the conversation. Balanced communication is key in any relationship. Always initiating conversations can make you seem too available and potentially undervalued. Letting others take the lead occasionally shows that you have your own life and interests. Marcus Aurelius's advice to not imitate harmful behaviors underscores the importance of maintaining balance and self-respect in communication. By allowing others to initiate conversations, you create a dynamic of mutual respect and effort. This rule is about finding a balance in how you communicate. It means realizing that it's not always good to be the one who starts conversations all the time. Letting the other person take the lead sometimes is important. This approach shows that you have a life with other interests and activities, and it also helps you see if they are interested in you too. Always being the one to start conversations might make you seem too available. This isn't about playing games. It's about ensuring mutual respect and effort in the relationship. Marcus Aurelius once said, the best way to get back at someone who did you wrong is to not act like them. In the context of communication, this means not copying behaviors that can create imbalance or make you feel unappreciated. It's about keeping your self-respect and not constantly seeking attention or approval. Let others initiate sometimes, showing that you value your own time and interests. 9. Don't get too attached. Emotionally. Maintaining emotional balance is crucial in relationships. Stoicism teaches that while emotions are a natural part of life, they should not dominate our actions or decisions. By keeping your emotions in check, you ensure that your needs are heard and respected. Seneca's advice to wait before reacting to anger highlights the importance of patience and emotional control. By managing your emotional attachment, you maintain your value and respect in relationships. This rule is about finding the right balance of emotions in your journey to become important to someone. It means making sure your emotions don't take over the relationship and that your needs are not only heard, but also respected. 
It's about finding the right mix between sharing your feelings and staying calm. Even though emotions are a big part of who we are, showing them too much can sometimes make us seem less valuable. In the words of Seneca, the best way to deal with anger is to wait. This quote is the heart of rule number nine. It's about being patient and controlling our emotional reactions. By managing your emotional attachment, you maintain your value and respect in relationships. 10. Be willing to walk away. Understanding your worth means not settling for disrespect or mistreatment. Being willing to walk away from a relationship that does not meet your standards is a powerful demonstration of self-respect. Marcus Aurelius' teaching that we control our minds, not external events, aligns with this principle. By being ready to leave when necessary, you show that you value yourself and demand respect in all relationships. This rule is all about understanding your own worth and not letting anyone disrespect you. You need to set clear rules about how you want to be treated in any relationship. When those rules are consistently ignored, you have to be brave enough to move on, even if you have strong feelings. This isn't being mean, it's taking care of yourself. It shows that you respect yourself and won't let someone treat you badly. By being ready to leave, you send a strong message that the situation is serious. This might make the other person realize they need to treat you better if they want to keep you in their life. Your aim isn't to hold on to relationships that don't make you happy and confident. Instead, it's about building healthy relationships based on mutual respect. Sometimes that means having the strength to walk away when it's necessary. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, you can control your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This means you have the power to control your inner strength and self-respect, even when things in your external relationships aren't going well. By embracing these stoic principles, you can transform your approach to life and relationships. Keeping some mystery, being independent, making your own happiness and valuing yourself are key to becoming a more attractive and respected individual. Remember, true attractiveness comes from within, and by cultivating these qualities, you naturally draw others to you. Stoicism offers timeless wisdom on how to live a balanced and fulfilling life, teaching us that inner peace and self-respect are the foundations of true happiness and meaningful relationships. As you apply these principles, you will find that others naturally want to value and respect you, recognizing your worth and importance in their lives. These principles include keeping some mystery, not always being available, letting others invest in you, and putting your own needs first. You need to find the right balance in how you communicate and not make your whole life about someone else. Taking care of your own happiness and emotional well-being makes you more attractive. Remember, it's crucial to value yourself and be ready to leave relationships that don't treat you well. This isn't about seeking attention, it's about building healthy and respectful relationships. By following these principles, you become someone that others naturally want to value. If you ever feel like you're just an option, remember that you have the power to make choices in your life, including the choice to walk away. Your worth is very high, and you deserve people who recognize and respect that. Thank you for reading. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel to join a community that values wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. Share how you'll use these stoic lessons in your life in the comments. Together, we're more than a channel. We're a community of purpose and respect. Don't miss out. Be part of our journey to living with intention. Until next time.